purpose, which was, uh, I think, a success, was to uh, was to hook up uh, a robotic platform with Cogex Machina, and that has been a, a fairly painless task. Uh, our main focus now, though, is the virtual environment, and uh, uh, we have a plan the planning and navigation module uh, hooked up to the virtual environment already. Uh, the brain is already driven by its, uh, the sensory input provided by the virtual environment, and uh, this sensory input includes things such as uh, GPS information about the animal, goal position, uh, animal's heading, and sensory touch information. One, one example of our modular approach is, for instance, what will happen with the GPS information, which is not really a biologically uh, inspired uh, sensor. So we, the GPS will be removed as, as the visually based uh, self-localization module will be uh, developed and working. Uh, another as aspect which is interesting is the virtual environment complexity. So we want to measure how complex are the various environments so we can measure our progress in, uh, in building more and more uh, intelligent animals. Uh, so this is a first uh, approximation to uh, you know, a matrix that can quantify this, uh, this value for us. So we have uh, basically a weighted sum of different factors. And these factors vary from uh, uh, things such as number of goals, punishment in the virtual environment, number of corners, number of objects in the virtual environment, uh, number of features in each object, and the size of the virtual environment. And some of these, uh, um, some of these factors have a fairly uh, simple relationship between the the, um, uh, the complexity of the virtual environment and, say, the size, uh, the, the number of items in this factor, and some other have a, a less uh, um, a, a non-monotonic relationship. For instance, in this case, uh, the number of objects, as you have a zero object in the virtual environment, uh, there is a high complexity because the animal doesn't have anything to rely upon, for instance, to navigate. But as you add more objects, the environment becomes simpler. But as, as you add more and more objects, the environment becomes cluttered. So its complexity, we argue, uh, also increases. Uh, the current uh, um, phase one goal is to simulate the Morris water maze, which according to this equation has a complexity of 10. Uh, the T maze, which we plan to simulate, has a complexity of 25. Other mazes we are targeting to simulate have a complexity of around 50. And after 50, I, we think that the animat is actually out of the maze. This is the complexity of the visual environment, and a whole other chapter is how to measure the complexity of the brain. And we think this is a challenge we, that we need to address before the end of phase one. Future planning Moneta. So we have a, a series of steps already laid down for us to, to complete the, uh, the brain for uh, the Morris Water Maze. Here is just a list, but I invite you to come to the poster to get uh, more details. The final, the, the, the goal that we want to accomplish in phase two is to simulate more complex mazes such as the T maze, plus maze, and, and, and other mazes uh, typical of the rodent literature. Uh, we want to add things such as audition, proprioception, planning, and competition with other agents. And, and the goal is basically to move towards uh, increasingly autonomous agents in, uh, uh, in more complex environments. Uh, what are the challenges that we have faced uh, until now? So there are two main uh, series of challenges. The first challenge is, to, is, is a purely model, modeling challenge. So how do you go from uh, uh, networks of uh, neurons to whole brain system to whole brain system that are able to uh, operate in a, in a virtual environment? And the parallel set of challenges are how do you take these networks and implement them efficiently in, uh, uh, in the software framework which is compatible with hardware? Um, well, his, this exemplifies the uh, peaceful relationship we have with uh, the Cog developer. Um, this is just a joke, of course, but uh, you know, up to a certain extent, <coughs> um, the, the, the software and, and the hardware framework have sometimes uh, conflicting uh, interest with respect to modelers. Modelers would like infinite precision and infinite power, uh, whereas uh, hardware would like to give uh, none of the above. And uh, which is reasonable. And uh, uh, in the past few months, we've been working together to uh, basically uh, resolve some of these uh, mismatches of, uh, uh, of needs. Uh, things such as uh, edge effects, uh, um, artificiality of sensory inputs, uh, machines uh, not being adequate sometimes to implement all of our model, etc. Uh, and there are some also some other uh, aspects that, that are still uh, uh, pending resolution, which are, we are. Uh, dealing with it right now. 
There are, of course, a set of parallel modeling challenges, and these include, for instance, simulating whole brain system. And our approach, again, is to divide and conquer. Um, another, another challenge is to design uh, a canonical uh, laminar cortical circuit, which, which exhibit simultaneously plasticity and homeostasis. And, uh, you know, the way we reacted to these challenges to deploy uh, two projects right away from the start. Uh, to help uh, to help solve these issues, uh, another issue is to modify model to fit the hardware constraints and. Uh the way we ad address this project is to basically focus on functionality. If uh, we have two uh, models, um, one of which is uh, uh, more biologically inspired and the other one is less biologically inspired, but functionally and behaviorally produces uh, the same desired properties, then we use it. And at the same time, we try to push uh, development of COG uh, to be able to uh, accommodate as many of our needs as possible. Uh, Something that I would like to address is why we are bothering with this. So mo doing modeling was already enough challenging for us. Why did we want to dive into a project that, uh, that involves uh, so many other complicated aspects related to hardware? And uh, I would argue we have uh, two uh, main set of reasons why we think that this is really uh, interesting for us. The first uh, is a more uh, scientific uh, uh, reason. So we believe that facing similar constraints of biology help us to um, uh, advance our, understand, our understanding of brain circuit uh, in, a, in, a, in a more efficient way. Also, uh, adding realism uh, to our simulations, so adding, re adding a virtual environment or a real environment to robotics uh, makes us face the so sort of the similar constraints of the biological system that we, we intended to study on the first place. And the second is a more applied reason. So most of uh, the com component of the team would like to actually see these models do something in the real world. And we are convinced that we, if we succeed, we will be able to build uh, a smarter, more robust, more portable, and more scalable applications. So our main phase two goal is to uh, is a functional goal. So we want to build a model um, uh, that has a, a whole brain system model that is capable of intelligent behavior in increasingly uh, complex environment. And in order to achieve this larger goal, we want to uh, achieve two sub goals. One is a, 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 is at the network level. So we want to we want to design network that exhibit dynamic uh, stability, and we want to design a canonical laminar cortical cir circuit that is able to uh, stably self-organize its representation. At the same time, we want to uh, increasingly uh, add functionality to our whole brain system. For instance, in the sensory and associative areas, we want to add multiple object recognition, attention, auditory classification, auditory localization, proprioception, and uh, symbolic representations. In the navigation system, we want to supplement what we have so far with visually, vis visually guided approach and uh, learned response movements. Finally, in the planning and execution, we want to uh, add multiple call representation, sequencing, and uh, adaptively timed behavior. So we believe that the combination of these two uh, sub-goals will uh, help us to uh, make progress towards our larger goal. Thank you.